Hello everyone, my name is Harsh and a very warm welcome to all of you in this AI assistant app in Flutter and in the last video we implement this feature to search as well as update the language okay so we can just update the language to anything that we like okay now in this video we actually want to give functionality to this so if I just type anything what I want is this language should be picked and sent to chat GPT and then it should provide me a response with the updated content okay so I can translate in the any language that I wish to so first uh, we need to kind of a create a prompt to send to chat GPT because chat GPT does not support direct language translator rather we need to give a prompt like this can you translate this given language from let's say this avarik to afar and then we provide the string and then it will translate for us so we need to implement all those logic here so first thing that I will check is uh, let me go, go back and I click on this language translator you will see there is an auto option so by chance it's not necessary that user knows which language he or she wants to translate from so in that case this auto is useful but we always want okay, in which language you want to translate that particular string so in that case I will check one more condition here inside this text controller and this translation feature so what I can do is I will check if two dot is not empty so the value of two should not be empty uh, from can be empty that will be okay and first thing is creating a prompt so creating a good prompt is a very necessary thing so I will create a string variable here and I will call it prompt for now and I will create that prompt here so I will kind of check two conditions here so this is my prompt logic uh, this is quite a simple if from is not empty which means user have selected this one as well as user is already selected too so in that case can you translate given text from so from language and then to and then to language and then a simply colon and backslash and which means I just want to add a new line and after that I just want to pass that text that user have typed okay and rather if the from is empty in that case I just passing the two language so if you wish uh, you can simply log the prompt here and developer one and I can just print the prompt here and control save okay now I will do is I will type something here like hello and for now if I just click on this translate so I need to implement this here so what I can do is inside this button I can use this C dot that is our controller and simply ask question and actually I will rename this function rather than ask question I will use it as a translate so simply control save and now if I just click on this translate now you will see that dialog shows ask something now why uh, the reason is quite a simple we have not selected this two language we need to select this two language so what I can do is so I will just use a if condition here two dot is empty in that case uh, I will use a dialog like select two language and if it is not the case in that case I will check if text controller dot text dot is empty okay in that case I will just type something here type something to translate and simply control save now if I just tap on this you will see select to language you can use any messages you like that you find sensible now the thing is we need to select a two language so what I can do is I can just select any one of them and I can click on translate now you can see uh, that thing is shown here so can you translate given text to a Khan and here is the text that we want to translate so it will send a request like this now if I just go and select this one and I just type something like hello and I click on this translate in that case it will look something like this okay so that's good to me now what I want is uh, this prompt is getting cleared when this thing is executed I don't want to clear the prompt rather I just want to print the result so I will just call this chat GPT APIs so simply import this and we will call in this API okay completions API that we created in the past videos and whatever the response we get uh, I will just use result c dot text is equals to the response that we get and simply control save 
and in this case if I type something here like hello and I click on this translate uh, what you will see is nothing happens now if I open my terminal now it is showing me the response like a JSON object now what I can do is actually I just don't want to send this text controller dot this one rather I will be sending a prompt okay and after that moving to the translator feature I just need to wrap this widget with an OBX because this is not updating at all what I can do is I can create actually a loading variable to let me know whether the things are loading or already have been loaded so we kind of done similar work in this image controller as well like we are updating the value of loading when the things are updating or not so we are using this status variable so we will be using the same in this translator feature so I can just copy this from here and I can move to my translator feature or let's say translator controller and I can create a rxbool variable of that status and simply import the that one and here simply and I just want to update its status so since I have pressed control save you can see hello how can I assist you so this prompt is showing so we need to use it like this so status dot value is loading when this starts and once it is completed I will change the value to status dot value dot completed okay and I also want to change the value in this case so in that case simply status dot value is equals to none okay by chance something or nothing happens okay so we will using we will be using these three states to maintain our UI now moving to our translate feature uh, actually I will wrap this one with an OBX so what I can do is simply control shift R wrap within widget and OBX and I will kind of check the conditions here so simply like this and actually I can create a widget below like we did in the case of image feature so we can just copy some code snippets from there okay uh, just similar to this one so I can just create a widget below so just copy this one out and moving to a translator feature I can just paste that function and I can call it uh, translate result okay you can call anything you like and we don't require this clip rect so I can just remove this one so it is simply using a switch condition to change the different values so I need to import this status so when it is none now I just don't want to show anything so simply used a size box okay no widgets when it is completed now uh, I just want to show my result okay that is this padding one so I just cut this one out and simply paste it here and when it is loading now I just want to show that custom loading that we created and simply control save now moving here I can use this uh, function of R so translate result I can remove this if condition and simply press control save now you will see uh, it is kind of empty because there is a none value in this now if I click on this translate now and just open my terminal and click on this one you will see a uh, quite a big loading dialog showing here and as well as the result provided is quite a weird one now why this is happening actually the data provided by chat GPT is kind of uncoded now we need to decode that data when it comes to a different language you may see the data provided in English is kind of accurate but other languages it does not support directly so it sends in an uncoded format so we need to decode these ones so how we will do that so inside this translate controller uh, here we can do that stuff so simply whatever the response I got uh, actually I need to decode this so chat GPT by default uses UTF-8 decoding or the most things uses UTF-8 so we can use UTF-8 dot decode and we need to pass some code units here that will be in the format of list of integers so we have a string here so string dot and we can pass this code units directly and now if I press on control save and now if I just click on this translate once again now you will see that weird logo but still uh, it looks good so hello to namaste okay so it is working though so one last thing that we want to fix is that logo so moving to that logo and actually I can wrap it with the widget or I can simply wrap it a widget called this align and now if I press on control save and click on translate that logo looks good okay so we are able to translate 
and one last thing i just want to give functionality to this swap buttons so what we can do is we can just create a function here so like this void and i can call it swap languages okay you can call anything you like and simply i will check if two dot is not empty so if two language is not empty as well as from language is also not empty in that case i just want to uh, swap the stuff so simply is not empty okay so like this so simply final and i can call it t which will be a temporary variable for swapping and i can just put two dot uh, value to this t and then simply two dot value is equals to from dot value and after that uh, from dot value is equals to t so this is a simple swapping logic that i have implemented here that is not a super great science okay now moving to a translate feature and moving above to this one i can just call this so simply underscore c dot swap languages and simply like this but there is a small thing i also want to update this ui when both the languages are available for swapping so rather than using a const here uh, what i will do is i will just simply use those condition to dot is not empty and from dot is not empty in that case uh, actually i need to use it like underscore c dot two dot is not empty and same goes here and in that case i just want to show a blue color so colors dot blue and i need to wrap this widget with obx to make it work so wrap it widget and obx and simply i can use a arrow operator here with the parenthesis and control save now you will see it is kind of showing me inactive now if i move back move to this screen these are working now if i click on this nothing happens if you want you can show a toast message i just want to translate it to let's say spanish this time so i know what hello means in spanish okay so simply translate and you will see hola okay so it's working and i can just select this one and i know this is english so like english and i can click on english and then if i just swap these languages so we are able to swap the values as well okay so that's it for this video so with this we are able to implement all the ai functionalities in our application and we have left with a kind of a only functionality that is this theme changing functionality which we will implement in our future videos so that's it for this video see you in the next video till then bye bye